Welcome to a new video everybody, I hope you're doing well. If there is one thing everybody wants in this hobby, it is crystal clear water. Clear water just makes everything look so much better. So today I'm going to share with you everything you need to know in order to have crystal clear water all the time. First we will go over what could be the reason that your aquarium water is not clear and how you can fix that. Then I'll share what I do to make sure I always have clear water even in tanks without a filter. And lastly, I have a few tips and products that work really well to get that invisible water look in your aquarium. Let's get right into it. I would say there are four reasons that could cause an aquarium to be cloudy or not clear. One, a bacterial bloom. Two, green water. Three, tannins. And four, floating particles. Let's go over these one by one. If your aquarium water looks cloudy or milky, you got yourself a bacterial bloom. This is a very common thing in a new setup, but sometimes also happens in established tanks that have been up and running for a while. The clarity of the water is significantly reduced, but you can't really see any floating particles. As the name suggests, these are bacteria. Now I talk a lot on the channel about beneficial bacteria, but these bacteria that are causing your aquarium to be milky are not really beneficial. They are, however, pretty much always present in your tap water, but they will only cause cloudiness when the conditions in your tank are favorable for them. So how do we get rid of this cloudiness? Well, simply just by doing nothing. The worst thing you can do when you have cloudy water is to start cleaning your tank and clean your filter. Because to get rid of the bacterial bloom, we need those beneficial bacteria that I just mentioned. These good guys will eventually outcompete the cloudy water bacteria, but this can take a few days. If you want to speed up this process, I suggest to add some fast growing plants to your aquarium, or if you already have an established filter on another tank, you can take some of that filter media and add it to the tank with the bacterial bloom. If none of these things help, you can always temporarily run a UV sterilizer, but this would really be my last suggestion. That was the bacterial bloom, next up we have the algae bloom, also called green water. And this is simply just water with floating algae, not to be confused with greenest algae, these are two very different things. I would say that there are three things that can cause green water. The first one is too much light, so either your light is too strong, or it's on for too long, or your tank is getting direct sunlight. The second one is your tank has a nutrient imbalance, so you have been dosing too much fertilizers. And the third one is, your aquarium is just dirty and needs to be cleaned more often. So the solution is usually pretty simple. You can get rid of it by reducing your light, and a 3 day blackout will definitely do the trick. Just make sure you do a big water change after that. If the problem is a nutrient imbalance, you can stop dosing fertilizers, do more water changes to dilute the existing nutrients, and add fast growing plants to absorb the rest of the nutrients. And if the problem is lack of maintenance, yeah, you know what to do. Also here, a UV sterilizer can be a solution, but I would always recommend to figure out what caused the algae bloom and fix it from there. Next up we have brown water, also called tannins. And tannins usually come from your hardscape. So if you're using wood in your layout, that wood is probably releasing tannins into the water. The good thing about tannins is that they usually don't make the water cloudy. The water will still be clear, it just has a brown color to it. But getting rid of tannins is a little bit more difficult. Usually these pieces of wood will keep releasing tannins for quite a while. So you either have to do more water changes to dilute the tannins, or you have to use special filter media that will absorb these tannins like sea camp footage in. This filter media actually works really well, and once it's saturated it can be regenerated, so you can use it indefinitely. Reason number 4 to cause cloudy water is floating particles. And a classic example of this is when you add new sand to your aquarium that hasn't been washed properly. The easiest solution here is again special filter media. I will leave some links in the video description, but this filter media can catch even the smallest particle, so it will really polish your water for you. Now I hope it shows in the video, but I think my tanks are pretty clean and pretty clear. And to be honest with you, I don't do anything special to achieve this. Even this nano tank that doesn't have a filter is absolutely crystal clear. So what's the secret? Well I think it's two things. The first secret is the plants. There are basically three reasons why plants keep your aquarium crystal clear. The first reason, 
They can absorb ammonia, nitrite and nitrate, which is food for those bacteria that cause a bacterial bloom. Second reason, they also soak up nutrients that algae need in order to grow. So simply put, more plants means less algae. And three, plants convert CO2 into oxygen. And more oxygen means healthier beneficial bacteria. And healthier beneficial bacteria means better filtration. The second secret is the substrate. Going back again to the beneficial bacteria, most people think these are only present in the filter, but they are actually everywhere in the tank, on plants, on rocks, on wood, and especially in the substrate. And in my tanks I have a relatively thick substrate layer that consists of mostly coarse granules, so plenty of well oxygenated water can still flow through it. So basically my substrate is like a paradise for these beneficial bacteria, and as a thank you they keep my water crystal clear. Of course having a filter is important as well, especially if your aquarium has a lot of fish or other inhabitants. I think the key takeaway here should be the beneficial bacteria. If you keep them happy, you should have no issues whatsoever. Now if for whatever reason everything that I just mentioned doesn't work, or you just want clear water right now, I have a magic elixir for you, which is called ADA Aqua Conditioner Clear Water. This stuff really works like magic, so if you have cloudy water, you simply dose a little bit of this into the water column and within half an hour or so your tank will be absolutely crystal clear. This product basically binds all those tiny floating particles together so they can be more easily picked up by your filter. So for this to work properly, it is necessary that you have a filter with some fine filter floss in there. Besides this ADA clear water, there's also Seachem Clarity, which I think does the exact same thing. I'll leave links to both these products in the video description, just beware that these products also remove phosphates from the tank. So if you have a planted tank and you're dosing phosphates, these products will remove that as well. Okay guys, that's it. So if you want crystal clear water, take care of those beneficial bacteria. If you need more help with your aquarium, then on this side I'll leave a playlist to all my algae videos explaining exactly how you can defeat pretty much any type of algae. And on this side I'll leave a video for 10 tips for beginners. Do check those out as well. Thanks for watching, see you next time.